Hi all, welcome to Panchaki Land. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Today we are going to see the another level part of the GUI, which is a little bit interesting as well as it is also a slight important once when we are working with this image processing and for advancement functions even in MATLAB. So we this particular uh, kinds of functions are more easier and much more important to work whenever we are working inside the software tools. So as we have said, how to start means guide, open that particular function. So if you want to create a blank one, you can click on the blank. So I'm going to create an uh, existing one. Therefore we can go with previous file. Okay, so now it is opened. And uh, yesterday we have tried for the functions like save the data and load the data and whatever the data has been saved and loaded over here it is able to display okay so now we are going to just work on the same thing with another functions inside the gui so here i am going to delete these two buttons also these two functions so here we can try to create a new application so here we are going to take another kinds of function which is known as slider so first click on the slider and we have to create that particular slider range and therefore this is known as that particular slider once we will be able to run only when it is being uh, applied okay and uh, inside the slider itself i'm also going to add the edit text so making a little bit bigger okay so what is the purpose of this edit text means we are also able to edit uh, like input as well as output section so here I am just going to integrate both slider as well as edit text and therefore I will be able to uh, apply that particular area so that uh, whenever I am moving the slider the value also getting changed. So first let us set the property. So inside this property yeah so everything is normal and this is the tag name known as slider1. So now get back to the code. So this is the movement that has been provided. Yeah so here we have our that particular section and here it has also provided some if condition so here no need to uh, provide that kind of if condition because we want to get that complete movement in a single way so here they have given for the color section only so now i am deleting that so like yesterday whatever we have given first we have to provide a variable and we have to get the value so from where we are going to get the value means from the slider because slider is a variable one so from that particular variable one only here we will be getting the input and edit text is nothing but the output section sorry so here this is that particular access part so fun uh, from that particular access part i am giving a name known as value in the string so therefore whatever the value we are providing the range of value from that range only the slider will be working over here and here i have to create that particular section now i am going to provide the data so the particular range it is nothing but so 0 to that respective value now i have to edit that particular text edit function okay so now it is working well so now i'm going to just display the function over here whatever we are reading yeah so now it is able to get the value so before that i will just convert this particular data okay so in this function it is not able to enable that particular conversion so i hope it will be better if you are going with uh, the number data itself now we have to set the value for output section so for that here we have to set handles dot edit one because in this place only yesterday also we have uh, applied that particular static text comma from where we are going to get it so we have stored the data inside the value in the form of string i'm extremely sorry for my particular systems problem but inside the edit text we have not edited our property this time going to the property inspector and uh, editing this as mt1 yeah now we have to provide a basic data over here so what is the purpose of basic data means for this value input now i am providing i hope there are some issues with my matlab because it is not getting with some of the functions okay let me restart my matlab once kindly wait till that yeah. so this is the file we are using and i hope now it works okay I think there is a serious problems with my MATLAB. Let me check with the problem of GUI. Yeah, so whatever uh, here it has been provided is correct only. Initial value is 0. 
okay so here first i am taking slider and i am expanding that particular slider so this can be done in the form of vertical or horizontal i am taking the edit text so inside the edit text i am clearing out the string so here also value it is in the form of zero and here also it is taken as slider one and edit one and the value is zero yeah again the hanging problem is there so here i have created and therefore i'm going to execute it as new file yeah so therefore this has been saved as a variable named wr okay so here i am getting back to the function of gui i am providing a variable named as val equal to get within bracket handles so handles it is nothing but wherever the gui that has been uh, updated over there dot slider one it is the variable name or the tag name that has been provided what value i am going to get means there is a default name of value inside that uh, particular slider so there is a particular function so from here i am going to get after getting that particular value i am going to set it in edit text handles dot edit one comma string so what i am going to get it as input means b a n but this will be that uh, particular exact function so the problem whatever i am facing it is due to that uh, matlab software let me check once again let me find out that particular error uh, there is issue with my matlab only that's why it is simply throwing this error and i hope everyone is able to see this uh, kindly wait for two minutes let me check what is the issue so open guide and i'm creating a new one so first i'm taking this uh, slide and i'm taking the edit text function so here now i'm creating my callback okay so from this particular callback only here we are going to apply this function and the function is handles dot slider one within quotes value and therefore here i am going to set the particular data handles dot edit one within bracket string comma val okay so now it is able to slide the data but there is no such uh, change in that particular value we are obtaining the change but it is not uh, not a normal one if you want to change into that uh, particular data go to the properties select the maximum and minimum value so let the uh, minimum value be in zero and maximum value in 100 so here we no need to uh, take conversion of any of the data over there you can directly run to it okay so this is known as that particular slide so this is known as creating the slider using the matlab function okay fine so this is nothing but the function of the particular uh, data whatever we have provided now within this itself we have to use another one function known as access okay so access is nothing but known as some of the display part so inside this we will be able to uh, display any kinds of uh, requirements okay so this is like a box maybe the picture or the plot anything can be done so for that we have to use within bracket access uh, handles dot access one comma what kinds of function we are going to provide okay so now i am also going to create this function so like within access handles dot access one comma val so now uh, here nothing will be displayed because whatever the data i have provided it is in the form of string okay so here i am providing another data like plot function and now this will be displayed so you can see how that particular graph is being changed over here the graph sections if you want to get that particular plot data means here we have to assign so just i will take a uh, sri section okay so this is known as plotting using slider so for today's assignment you guys will be having the section as uh, slider function okay so using slider you have to plot the data that will be today's task and at the same time tomorrow you have to show me that gui based section so by this particular function we can end the gui task Thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel